G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again with another Unity 3D tutorial. This time we are going to package the program we made in the previous video into an Android Cardboard app. Now this is a very, very simple process and thanks to Unity and Google for making it so bloody easy compared to what it used to be. It's actually native to Unity and what that means is that we don't have to do any work. It's all built in. There's no extra installing things. There used to be a massive package you had to get, put it into the program, drag all the prefabs. Now you just have a couple of options to select. The only thing I will quickly say, in the first video I talked about setting up your phone as a deployment. So you have to go into developer tools and then click on uh, USB debugging to be able to do it. And I really recommend that you do this because it's a very simple process and it saves you a whole lot of time down the road. But for this part here, we're gonna be pretty straightforward. We are going to go up to file and I realized I forgot one little step in the previous video. I didn't save my scene. So I'm gonna quickly show you when you save your scenes, make sure you save them in the assets folder. I've just called this one level.unity and it appears down here. It's as simple as that, okay? You can't save your levels anywhere you want. You have to save them within the assets folder. It can be a subfolder of assets, but they have to be within assets somewhere. So anyway, what we need to do is quickly set up our project. So I'm gonna quickly go to file. We're gonna to go to build settings. And down here, we're gonna select Android as the platform we want to deploy to. And we're gonna quickly go to some player settings. So here's all you need to do. In this settings, you can go through a whole plethora of things, but I'm just gonna give you the bare minimum that you need. The bare minimum you need is virtual reality supported. Press the plus. Now, if you're building for cardboard that I'm aiming for, click on that. However, you can see there are more that you can go for if you want to. Daydream is in there too. I'm just going to uh, use cardboard, obviously. Coming down, you need to make sure you specify a package name or you'll get an error. It takes like five minutes for the build process to work and then you get the error, not straight away. I'm going to do my old website again. Make sure you've got no numbers at the beginning of your words, okay? Or you'll get errors with that as well. I've run into that problem when I had 360 video and that hit me an error. I'm gonna change the minimum to 4.4 because that's the one I have installed. And that's pretty much it. Build your app. I'm gonna chuck it on the desktop as I always do. We're gonna call it 362. Oh, accidentally hit the enter key. Oh well, that works. All right, so that's finished and it's brought up my little APK, which I've misnamed, but oh well. And that's pretty much it. Get that APK onto any Android phone and they can use your little 360 video that you've made. Now there's one little thing that I wanna quickly go through before I finish, and that is building and running, but also one thing I forgot to say. We probably should turn this max look script off because that's designed purely for the desktop application. I think by default it's disabled on Android phones, but just in case, it's probably a good idea to turn that off anyway. And the final thing you should probably do is get an Android phone, hook it up with development tools, and get the USB debugging turned on, and then simply hit that build and run, and it's gonna find your phone, it's gonna deploy the application, and it's gonna start it up for you all in one big hit. And the beauty of that is you can just test it straight away. I had a lot of problems when I didn't know about build and run and how easy it is to use, and I had to sit there and build and copy and paste and install and uninstall, it was a whole mess, okay? So just use this option as soon as you can. You see it's pretty quick, just by the time I've rambled on here, it's copied the device or the um, APK over, you can see it's installing here. Hopefully it'll finish up soon. You're not gonna see anything, unfortunately, because it's a video of it. But on that note, I do wanna thank you for watching. Okay, oh, here we go. It's up. And I've got my video. There was my video. I can move it around. It's got full head tracking, so I can chuck that in the Google Cardboard and it would start working straight away for me. But thank you for watching, guys. You know how to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm not gonna teach you how to suck eggs. I'll see you in the next video where we're going to have a little bit of a virtual tour and it's merely just an extension of what we've really been doing already. Thanks very much for watching everyone. See you in the next one.